Established on March 12, 1870, Columbus Junction, Iowa is a beautiful town with beautiful people. Columbus Junction is home of the historic Swinging Bridge, found one block south of Highway 92 near downtown. The 262-foot-long steel cable and wood suspension bridge was built in 1822 as an elevated walkway connecting the 3rd and 4th streets. But it's almost as if every beautiful town has a very dark history. Despite the beautiful scenery and the beautiful people, it is said that a young maiden has jumped to her death out of love and heartbreak at this very location. This is Lover's Leap Bridge. For obvious reasons, you can see Zach way out in the distance. It's a swinging bridge. Now, there's a maiden who leapt to her death from here, and some say it's because of a heartbreak. And that's what we're here to figure out, if her spirit's still here, and what drove her to do such a tragic thing. What do you think, Zach? It's kind of sketchy, isn't it? Better come across, Brooke. Where's B? At the end. Hey, B. Are you good? B's at the end of the bridge. We got all of our equipment set up right there. What's up, YouTube? And we are officially in the state of Iowa, and it is a, how do you explain it, Zach? Constitutional carry state. We are in a constitutional carry state. So, so for our viewers, carry. this is fully legal what they are doing. And we do it for our team's protection. So this is Brooks Neck of the Woods, and so this is Brooks Neck of the Woods, and do you want to explain what happened again? So I came up here with my girlfriend, and um, over by the butterfly over there, she did see a shadow figure. So there's a butterfly, like what, like a memorial, or? Well, there's a butterfly, like cage thing where they raise them, and there's like a little metal statue thing. Right there. Oh, the statue she saw a shadow figure. That's kind of creepy. I got bad vibes from this little area right here. This is where I did necro with her. And would you turn up on necro? I was getting some names. I can't remember what. It's in my notes. If I can find it. But we can try again tonight and see what we find. Alright. Sounds good. Alright guys. So we're going to start a necrophonic session here where Brooke and her girlfriend had an experience. So we're here at the beginning of the trail. This is where Brooke initially had an experience with her girlfriend. Is, the, is it true that there's a maiden that leapt to her death here? And we want to know also if there's any any other spirits that are here. Just say down here. Like, what are you doing down here? Yep. Yep. How many other spirits are here? Nineteen. Nineteen. That's weird. Bridge. That's wild. What? It just said jump. Jumped? Who jumped? Me? 
Was you heartbroken? I think if you want to talk with us clearly and a lot stronger, we can meet you at the bridge and communicate with you on the bridge. Something tragic must have happened to you. Your story is compelling. We drove clear from Illinois here just to hear your story. We have quite a bit of people that watches our videos also who would like to hear your story. Who's the shadow figure that Brooke and her girlfriend saw? It did say that again, didn't it? I'm not repeating it. Can you tell me where they saw you? Brooke? Is it obvious? Just for clarification, where did we see you? This is just strange, isn't it? That feels strange here. Just a different kind of energy. I feel like who we're communicating with may not be the girl that jumped. No, it's not just her that has jumped haunted. Well, yeah, that's why we're here. Heard something off in the woods there. I've been hearing stuff in the woods. We're good though. Luke's got a perimeter set up. Is there anything evil here? No. So the shadow that Brooke and her girlfriend saw not too long ago, was that just some man walking or were you minding your own business? That's just strange. I swear, yeah, I could have swore it said something about it was my mom. Why do all of you guys at this bridge in particular flock to it? Is there a reason you guys are stuck here? Is there a reason you stay here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what's the reason? Time? Do you not see the light? Are you scared to cross over? Learn. Are you still learning how it works? I'm gonna change the speaker a little bit. Let's take that word again. B. Now it's saying, I mean, my nickname towards you has always been B. Now they're copying me, B. Do you know that Brooke here, B is, you know B is gifted? A good one. A good one, yeah. Do you trust her? Thinking. I heard thinking. Same female's voice though. You guys come thinking is what I heard. What's your name? Hmm. 
Were you a maiden? I heard the reason you were heart I heard the reason you leapt to your death is because you were heartbroken. Is that true? Thief. Hmm. Did somebody did somebody shatter your heart? I got this warm like this warm feeling inside me of like love. It's weird. I can't explain it. We're, we're, the, this is in regards to the woman who jumped. If you jumped, were you in love? Did, did somebody cheat on you? Yeah. Was it, was it the man you were in love with? Dave? Something about get him, Dave. The man that broke your heart, is his name Dave? You heard that, right? What was that? I'm looking up at the trees and that was weird. They're here though. I got goosebumps. Do you think so? Scared? Okay. Are you scared? Send help or see, as in yes. That sounded like it could have been two different things. I got send. Send help, yeah. The guy is gone. I gotta be able to get the rem yeah, I just gotta make sure I can get the REM pod too. What happened to you? What happened to you that drove you to the brink of insanity? Faint female's voice. I don't know if the camera picked up on that. What's that? Uh... Am I speaking with the madam or the the maiden that jumped? Are you here with us? So I'm gonna have Brooke come up here because I feel like the spirit was strong enough to interact with our REM pod But not strong enough to come through and Brooke is a conduit and plus it's girl girl talk So maybe she can relate to Brooke more than she will me. I think really That's what she wants is a female presence here. So We're gonna have Brooke come out here and do a necrophonic session That was a hell of an owl hoot. Can you touch that red light again? I'm gonna go ahead and sit down with you. You can talk.
Alright, so you can still speak to this again. Alright. I just said mate. That was male voice. The maiden that jumped, are you here with me right now? You are? Do you hear it say I am? What's your name? Can you tell me why you jumped? Can you tell me why you jumped? Why did you jump? Or did you not jump? Can you tell me what happened to you? You fell? You want to sit down with us here? It said she didn't. I want to speak to the maiden that leapt to her death. Can you please come forward and tell us your story? That's weird. Yeah, those guys are going randomly. Nuts. Bridge. Those guys are going nuts right now, dude. Brooke. Can you uh, get close to this red light and touch this red light? So, the last time we spoke to you at the picnic table, you mentioned that a man named Dave broke your heart. It, if that's true, can you come forward and let us know? What did it say? Seance? Yes, no. We're not here to do a seance. We're here to communicate with you and hear your story. There is something moving around down there. Can you tell us what happened? speaking to us earlier. Can you come through and talk to us and tell us your story? We want to speak to the lady that we spoke to earlier at the picnic table. Are you here with us? You did say you were going to follow us here. We would very much like to hear your story. Yes. Okay. Getting a female's voice. Did somebody break your heart? Is it true you left because somebody broke your heart? How did he break your heart? Help. 
can you tell me what the name of this man was? Where did something else happen that caused you to fall off this bridge? Did you jump or did something else happen? Yeah. See, your story to us is truly sad, and we're trying to put the pieces together of what really happened. And there's a lot of people that watch what we do that can hear your story also. That way it gives you closure into passing on over to the next life. So I just envisioned, oh my god. Guys, this is strong, man. Like, I'm not even joking. I, like, my eyes are open. You know how, like, you daydream? I had, like, a vision of a woman leaping from this bridge. She had long brown hair, and I was, like, watching her jump. And I could, it's like I could feel somewhat of the emotions that were going on, but not fully. I can't explain it. Can you tell us what happened? Why did you jump? This is like a mint. She's like showing me. It's weird. It's like she showed me how it happened. I think we're in the exact spot where she jumped. It said right. Right. Why did you jump? I think it was jealousy. Did you, were you heartbroken and full of jealousy from the one you love moving on with someone else? Uh-huh. You're the only one that knows that, right? I heard, uh-huh, in a woman's voice, and then behind that, a very faint voice, you're the only one that knows that, right? I think, I think every one of us on this bridge has experienced heartbreak before. And I can only imagine what you was going through. A lot. A lot. And I'm sure there's more to your story than what people know. Yep. Damage. Wow, that was a woman's voice that said damage. That, that, when you love someone so much and they leave you for someone else or someone you know, that's... A significant amount of damage that's just so unbearable. I'm pretty sure me and Brooke here have both experienced this, and we know how you feel. I'm so sorry for what happened to you. Can you tell us the name of the man that you did this? I just want to see if you remember telling us what you told us at the picnic table. We know the name. Okay. That's her. Her voice is soft. Her voice is very soft. Sigh. Are you weeping now? Are you still hurting? Safe, it said. Do you feel better now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Is there, is there anything that me and Brooke can do to help you? See, it's happening again, dude. So now, I'm, again, I just had a vision of a woman standing behind you, but she was doing this. Oh my god, that just confirmed what I saw. Like, she was standing there crying like this. And then this just came through a woman crying. Standing behind me? Behind Brooke. She's... I think what's happening is she's showing me what's going on right now. Probably how would. she did it and what she's doing now. She's putting images in my head. She's still weeping. You got goosebumps. I feel completely drain right now. You need to come off the bridge? It's nothing bad. She's basically just showing me her emotions. And this is the first time this has ever happened to me. All my viewers know and seen all my episodes, nothing has ever happened to me like this before. I've never had a spirit put images in my head and allow me to see her manifest it. Mom? Your mom? Your, your mom? Are you concerned about your mom? She's worried about her mom after... To me, I feel like she may be worried about how her mom took it. No, it's like, get her. Get her? Like, are you wanting him to call his mom? My mom? Yes. Do it. Amy. It just said my mom. Yeah, hold on. What do you What do you want with my mom? I know that my I know that my mom's a psychic, but what do you want from her? Nathan, mom, you want my mom to help you cross over? She, she will, she will help. She will send. She will send. She will send. That's another spirit speaking for this woman. My mom will send what? She's confirming what we're hearing. She's, it just came through twice. Same female's voice. Quiet. Then she came through and said, listen. But that noise down there. That, that noise. That down, are we jump. hearing what? We're hearing stuff hit the leaves and drop it. That's what I'm saying. I think she's allowing us to hear what it sounded like when she jumped. Wow. I'm full I'm goose bumped out too, bro. This is wild. But I wanted you to know that our hearts go out to you, and we're sorry that life was so hard on you, and love impacted your heart in such a negative way. Wow. Yeah. Do you feel it? She just came to and said, do you feel it? 
Yep. I think she's still going through that heartbreak. You help. You help. I'm going to say a prayer for you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. In the name of the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Did you hear that? You heard that, right? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. She said tomorrow. Did you guys hear her say amen? Yes. You can hear me? Seriously, did you guys hear her say amen? Thank you. Bye. Did you hear that, bro? I think I did, yeah. No, sir, I swear no, I fully to... Did. Huh? I fully heard it. You fully heard her say amen as I finished the prayer? At the same time, yeah. That is... Oh, my God, dude. And she said hi. I'm so glad that we got to meet you, and I look forward to visiting you another time and working with you and helping heal. That way you could cross over. Try not to be sad anymore. Yes. I'm drained. I, that's a very emotional necrophonic session right there.